Hi there, this is Jen and thanks for joining me today. Today I am going to create a super simple, easy, quick project using one of the products from the January Hedgehog Hollow subscription box. And if you're not familiar with that box, I will go ahead and leave a link below. But basically it is like a car kit in a way, but a lot of times there are um, other items that you can try out that aren't necessarily for cards, um, but it is something creative and always fabulous. And so the January box had the six ring binder in it. So it's a clear six ring binder. It has a snap on the front. And so I thought I would go ahead and jazz it up a little bit with some alcohol ink. So I have put a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, 91% in a container. And then I'm grabbing my tools that I always use when I'm using alcohol inks. And that is a pipette to bring up that um, isopropyl alcohol and apply it to my um, alcohol ink as well as a baby nasal aspirator which i use to push the ink around um, and so the alcohol inks that i'm using are marabou and so i'm going to go ahead and start with the front cover and the marabou alcohol inks that i'm using are magenta purple and, and then this really pretty color it's called glitter pink gold which is basically a pink gold with um, glitter so it is shiny and so um, i'm basically just adding the alcohol inks adding the isopropyl alcohol um, moving that around with my baby aspirator or by picking up the cover and just letting the alcohol ink drip um, so there's really no rhyme or reason i'm not trying to create a specific picture. Um, for me, most of the time, alcohol inks are just, um, you know, doing whatever <laughs> you do. I mean, it's very fluid. Um, I think it's very organic. And um, so I'm not doing anything special. I'm just adding color uh, and then adding more color and then adding more alcohol ink um, until I get a kind of a pattern or a color that um, I like. And about the halfway point here is what the folder looks like. You can see that glitter from the alcohol ink shining through, which I think is really super pretty, but there's not enough color on it. Apparently I thought there was not enough color. So I went ahead and I grabbed some more of the magenta and purple and that glitter and just kept adding color until I liked what I saw. And then here I am just moving it around to get some drips. Um, and then I let this dry. I was out of my craft room for about a day and a half. I mean, I didn't need to let it dry that long. That was just when I was able to get back to it. But I really love the way it looks. It's not sticky. Um, it's totally dry and just really pretty. Um, sorry about this. I put a white piece of paper in there so you can see it a little bit better <laughs> than right now. But this is the back side. And on the back, I am using the colors tangerine, red, orange, uh, white, and then another of the glitters, which is glitter, gold, bronze. And so I'm basically doing the same thing. I am just adding the colors and then adding the alcohol and then moving that around. Um, but for this one, I do something a little bit different, which I did not do for the front cover. And that is using my heat tool. And so I do end up using that to dry it a little bit and I just made sure that I did not hold the heat on it continuously. So I would apply the heat probably for about maybe five seconds or so and then remove it and then apply it again. And the heat gun that I use, I believe it's a Wagner, which is not a um, craft heat gun, it's a tool heat gun. And so it might get a little bit hotter than the craft room heat gun, um, but with any heat gun on plastic, if you're not sure how it's gonna react, uh, you just wanna apply a little bit of heat at a time and then take it away to make sure that it doesn't melt. I didn't have any warping or bubbling up or anything like that when I used it, uh, but again, I made sure that that heat wasn't um, on the plastic for too long. Um, I, then I did end up setting it aside for a little bit, probably about a half an hour to an hour, just to make sure um, it was completely dry. 
And so this is the front and the back. Um, I think it turned out really nice. I love it how it looks when there's paper inside of it. And I also love how it looks like this where you can see the color from the back to the front and the color from the front to the back. I would absolutely love if you got this box to see what you've done with your binders. You can always share your projects for the Hedgehog Hollow box on the Facebook page. I will go ahead and leave a link for that below. Um, as far as the decorations for the rest of the binder, I did use some of these stamps from the stamp set that is in this January box. I basically created my own paper to fit, so I didn't have any paper that fit, so I trimmed some lined paper and some graph paper down, and then I didn't have a punch for a six-hole punch, and so I just lined up the paper to the punch and marked off the where the holes should go, and then I took my hand punch and punched out those holes and so i used one that's my favorite stamp i think from the set is that girl with the book i just really love that stamp and so from the front you can see that stamp on the bottom and i think this would be great for journaling i think it would be great if you took book pages and inserted them in here and stamped and colored them um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. I think probably to jot notes in or something like that. But it's really handy. You can keep adding pages. And then from the back, this is what it looks like with that graph paper in there, uh, which I think looks really cool. And that will do it for me. Uh, I don't know if this box is available. I know the February's box is already up. So if you're interested in checking out to see that box, um, go ahead and go over to the Hedgehog Hollow site. I will leave links below. Um, as always, if you like this video or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I hope to see you next time.